So imagine this, you teleport to Mars. No spacesuit, no helmet, just you standing on the red planet. Five seconds, that's all you have to survive. Sounds short enough, right? What could possibly go wrong in just five seconds? Well, Mars is basically the universe's worst vacation spot. The air is 95% carbon dioxide, the pressure is less than 1% of Earth's, and the temperature, around minus 60 degrees Celsius. So, if you suddenly appeared there, those five seconds would feel like the longest five seconds of your life. Second one, you take a breath, or try to. There's almost no oxygen. Your lungs instantly fail to pull in air, and your blood starts boiling. Not from heat, but because the pressure is so low that liquids just start evaporating. Second two, your saliva and tears bubble, and moisture starts escaping from your skin. Your body's screaming, but you can't actually scream. Your lungs are empty. Second three, the sunlight hits you. It's brighter than any summer day on Earth and blasting you with unfiltered UV radiation. Sunburn in milliseconds. Congratulations, you just invented instant tan, Mars edition. Second four, the cold begins to bite. Not the kind that makes you shiver, the kind that freezes exposed skin and eyes. Your body's losing heat faster than a popsicle in Antarctica. Second five, you're collapsing. The oxygen in your blood is almost gone, your vision's fading, and your body's swelling slightly from pressure loss. You'd pass out right about now. If someone magically teleported you back to Earth at exactly five seconds, you might, might survive after a lot of medical help. But stay even one second longer, you're basically a freeze-dried astronaut snack. So yeah, five seconds on Mars doesn't sound like much until you realize Mars doesn't doesn't care about your quick visit. It's not the place to just check out the view. Want to know how long you could survive with just a helmet or a tiny bit of air? Drop your guess in the comments and hit that like button if you'd risk five seconds on Mars. Just not without a suit, okay? And of course, subscribe for more What If Science Adventures.